he was trying to find a kind of way to say, abortion! Ah! <laughs> Coat hanger! <laughs> he was just trying to find a... Welcome to the J and O show. Where we talk about things that we were never told. I'm J and I'm O. And now you know. If you guys are new to our channel, please make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you can know when we upload because you never want to miss an episode. Also, if you guys are new here and you have ideas for show topics, go ahead and drop them down below in the comment section and write hashtag next show so that way we can easily filter through and give you more of what you want. All right. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't know where that came from. Need some more. I'm right. Go ahead. Okay. I'll be right. <laughs> um, so today we are actually going to be reacting to an Abba and Preach video. Shout out to Abba and Preach. Yo, love Abba and Preach, man. Yo. They are hilarious. Mm -hmm. Not to mention much, much respect. They're respectable dudes, and mm -hmm. I really appreciate a lot of the content that they put out because they don't be trying to like sugarcoat nothing or be like gaslighting. They just tell it like it is. Integrity matters. Yes, integrity matters to them, and I can respect that. So shout out to Abba and Preach. But this is a reaction to their video called Abortion Could Make Us Closer. Uh. Friends with Benefits. <laughs> so, when I saw this title, I was like, hold on. Who is this? this? <laughs> what? Mm. Like, what you talking about, Willis? Yeah. Like, I don't understand. Yeah. So yeah, so I haven't seen this. I think Jay has seen a portion of this. So we're gonna just hop right in and see what the heck they talking about, shall we? Today's topic. I'm Lucas. I'm Alex. And um, we are buddies. Buddies slash <laughs> friends with benefits with like yeah. a asterisk maybe see below. Could it lead to something more? I just want to point out, you see how we're sitting in this chair? Oh, uh... Yes? Maybe? Yeah. Maybe, possibly. I haven't talked about it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we I haven't talked about that. Uh, with time, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yes. you go first. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Got it! I don't know, y'all, I'm just different. Got it! <laughs> I can't. Bruh. That usually don't work out, y'all. Yes. That's. That usually don't work out. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just letting you know. Um, even if, cause there are sometimes that you know they actually get together. That does, you know, sometimes that happens. If a guy's really into you, if he's really into you, he don't have no problem wifing you up. This is true. Some guys are just not into any girls because mm -hmm. of their experience with them mm -hmm. or because of how they view them. So they're not really into any girls. Mm -hmm. But if a guy is into you, he don't got a problem wifing you up, mm -hmm. making you his girl or at least, you know. And sidebar for those guys that just want to be friends with benefits. One of the things I will also say is like you said just now, typically if a guy really is into you, they don't have a problem wifing you up unless they just don't want to be in a relationship or they've experienced too much bad or just what they've seen. Pay attention to the relationship with their mom or whoever raised them, mm -hmm. the woman in their life, okay? And see how they kind of treat them. Not saying that it's 100% foolproof, but if they tend to have a bad relationship <coughs> with the person who raised them or they view that person in a certain light, it might be a reason for that. Just saying. All right, push play. This already seemed like a hot mess. <laughs> you go first. Ladies first. All right. What are the terms of this relationship? Whoa. <laughs> Probably uh, should have should have thought about this. Um, we uh, like each other. We have to be friends still, and then like we have sex sometimes. <laughs> we have sex sometimes, yeah. We haven't set boundaries yet. No legal documents. Yeah. No inside. contract. Y'all not friends with benefits. Y'all just messy. That's it. You guys haven't discussed how this is supposed to go down. You guys haven't discussed boundaries. 
whether or not you're allowed to see other people, what those rules of engagement are. You guys are just, you guys are waiting. You guys are waiting for this to blow up in your face. I love Abba. <laughs> yes. <Bruh. laughs> ding, 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 ding. What in the world? I can tell you right now, just looking at it, she is goo goo gaga over this dude. <laughs> and the feeling is not mutual. Mm. Just looking at it, I can tell you right. Just the way that they look at each other. She has this super giddy, laughy. She ain't that damn happy in real life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I can't say that he doesn't. He's not looking at her right now. Like, no, no, no. Um, he he, he might, definitely wants he, he, to. He's looking at her like a snack. Actually. Back, thank you, thank you. Sorry. She, she's sitting over there the looking <laughs> like his favorite snack. <laughs> she's Google got. Yo, friends with benefits is bull, y'all. I'm. <laughs> if 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 both of you are actually not into each other that much, and it's literally just physical, then I guess it, it could be a little different for y'all. But don't think a friends with benefits thing like this is a super small. This percentage is so small. It is probably the same percentage of friends with benefits will get married as women will find a high value man to marry them. Boy, if you don't, mm. it's the same percentage. <laughs> All y'all out there thinking you're going to get a man with $100,000 or more a year and he going to want you. Mm. Bruh. And you average at best. Because <laughs> <laughs> guess what? Most of y'all is average at best because average is what most of us are. Most of us are average. So that's average 50. income wise. 50%. Well, no, I'm talking. Well, see, I'm talking from the perspective of. Everything looks <laughs> and shape, Sorry. income. Most of most that's why it's average because it's what most of us are. Most y'all ain't gonna get that hundred thousand dollar man. You don't deserve him. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you? Just push my. We'll yeah. make the rules right now. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Should we like tell the other person if we are sleeping with other people? Yes. Okay. 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 There's a little then... bit of a look there, but that's okay. <laughs> no, but okay. Yeah. Then like. Okay. Yes. No, that's good. All right. That's a good. Good first one. rule. So they're discussing the rule in front of everybody. That's the first time. Okay. This just speaks to the realities. Like people most people about, out here. And don't know what they're doing no. or how to talk about it. Like you say, they're as progressive as I want or whatever. Most people are not having good conversations. No, they're around. not. Yo, these fools ain't even talked about what they gonna do if she get pregnant. You, that's that's like, excuse me. You would think that um, you participating in these extracurricular activities that can bring another life being um, into this world that you would discuss. Um, certain things. That's just recklessness. Bruh. I mean, I would say chalk it up to being young and dumb, but that's... <laughs> I, that's just stupid. Just plain stupid. <laughs> okay? <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> I'm just... Even me when I was at that age. We didn't talk about that shit. Bruh. Most people were not talking about it. And even today, at this age, people, whenever they want, they're talking about it. They're not, they're, not, they're not listening. Or they want to hear what they want to hear. In front of a the camera, they'll say whatever. Or in front of their friends, they'll say whatever. They get behind closed door, and you find out they don't do any of the shit no. that they're talking about. There's nothing worse than friends with benefits where one of them clearly wants to date the other. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, she wants to be in a relationship with him. Yeah. Yeah. He's the one who says it. He's like, man. Yeah. We haven't set boundaries. Are we allowed to um, have feelings? Yeah. We're allowed to have feelings? So. Okay, yeah. okay. That'd cool. be weird. Are we allowed to have feelings? Yeah. Hey, right on the money. Okay, y'all. Um, <laughs> allowed to have feelings. That's wow. All right, so there's a there's all right. So there's but a lot the going. guy asked that question. Yeah, I which know. I thought was very interesting. No, I think so. That's why I'm wondering. Even though he was gonna have like a snack, I'm wondering if he is actually really into her. Because why would he ask that question? Or was that one of the questions on the card? It might have been one of the questions on the card. Oh, okay, well, never mind. I digress. I think it's one of the questions <laughs> on the card. Because I think the thing is about friends with benefits. And they're just asking them uh, difficult questions that they probably didn't think to talk about. Because they just jumped into it. I think. Okay. Are we allowed to have... 
Yeah, alright, so there's this thing about feelings. I was thinking about this the other day. There's this thing about feelings. feelings. And a lot of people are basically disregarding feelings, right? I think that of all of the natural processes that we have are there for a reason. Mm -hmm. So whatever you have is there for a reason. Whether it's... So, so emotions are on that list, y'all. There is a reason why you have emotions. The problem is we let them rule us. Right. Okay? And make bad decisions like Which having friends good. with benefits with somebody that you actually want to be with. And you're just going to do friends with benefits. Because you'd rather have something than nothing. And... I just... And then the man just falls for the walls. Huh? Falls for the walls. But guess what? After he's done with the walls, he comes back to his senses and he just It's only for the moment. It don't last. I... This doesn't work. I don't I'm pressing play. <laughs> I had to talk and express about that. Yeah, kind of I think it's better. <laughs> it's better that way. I think it's way. better have open communication. It's better that way, yeah. Um, if we find someone else that we like, we should probably communicate right. that. What would happen if we got pregnant? We would have a really heavy conversation. He was trying to find a kind of way to say, abortion! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Code hanger. <laughs> he was just trying to find a good fit. Yeah, we would have a long conversation about consent and how being an adult is going to be very difficult considering there's no love between us. And the, abortion. <laughs> That's what that was. We know what what to do, right? And I. I mean, I know. I, I would. I would want. Any to way do. I can help. Yeah, sure. You're just going to support. I'm going to support. Definitely favor the not having kids yeah. right now. Yeah, absolutely. Option. Absolutely. Like 100%. <laughs> what would you do? I probably would, I would probably have an abortion for sure. If that were to happen, would your relationship end? I don't think it would end it. I don't think so. I know. Maybe it would just be like, all right, like we've proven that we're irresponsible right. in this realm. <laughs> so right. let's just be friends without benefits maybe. Yeah, but experiencing that could make you like maybe closer. Right. But it's also kind of oh, shocked. Stop, stop. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Look at Apple's face. <laughs> he said, he said it's proven that we are irresponsible. Boy, if you don't. You needed to get to that point to understand that? Like, I... bruh. Yo, like, what is wrong with people? She was like, you can make us closer. <laughs> I think, yo, I, I'm just saying, Abba's face right now, it just tells the whole story, y'all. This is the story right here. I, that face. This is hot. But here's the thing. Most situations where you have friends with benefits, bruh. this is the face, that, that, like that, the, the logic which, of friends with benefits is pretty much that. It never ends well. Somebody always ends up being hurt. One or the other, it's either the guy or the girl. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be some huge blow up, but it never ends well. <sighs> so, maybe it's on the count of three. Stop. Who, name my stop, 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 stop. I feel you, Adam. She said maybe losing a baby could bring us together. You are living in such delusion. God, God help your soul. Get out of the whatever, whatever this is. It's not good for you. Okay. You are not ready to do this. This is not for you. You're not someone who wanted to be friends with benefits. You're someone who settled on being friends with benefits when you didn't get what you wanted. And it's sad to watch. Bruh. Oh, man. On that note, um, cause we, did we talk about this recently? I felt like we talked about this recently, about settling. Like, if somebody don't want, if you want to be with somebody and they don't want to be with you. <laughs> like, Daddy. how many people live on this planet? Like seven billion, of billion us. people. Seven billion. It's seven billion or whatever mm -hmm. people on this planet. Okay, like if you found one person that don't want to be with you, that's okay. That's their loss. Go find some. Go find somebody else that will love and appreciate you for you. It's love out there for everybody. Don't settle on the scraps that someone is gonna give you because 
you're so desperate that you want to be with that person. Like, let me let y'all know that's that's true settling. Because like oh you know the, the conversation in the dating world about settling is whether the guy makes enough money or whether the girl is beautiful enough and stuff. Yeah, you want to talk about real settling? No. That's real settling. Yeah. Settling for somebody who doesn't deserve you. And I don't want people to mm. get what I'm saying misconstrued because a lot of people do have delusion about their worth. <laughs> this is true. All right. There's a <laughs> lot of delusion about their worth because... Reverend Minister Kevin Samuels <laughs> has definitely brought out there that there's delusion on the women's side. There's delusion on the men's side, too. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of guys that ain't worth nothing, and they think that they should be, which often fuels the red pill rage. Why don't they want me? When was the last time you took a bath? Boy, if you don't... Do you comb your beard? Bruh. If you ain't got no beard, you comb your hair. <laughs> Did you, do you care about what you look like when you walk out the door? Mm. Do you, huh? Do you, do you, do you just stains on your clothes or do you clean them? Uh, you make sure they're clean. That goes both ways, men and women. Do you exercise? Just keep it together. I, did, 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 go to the dentist? Bruh. Mm -mm. <laughs> do you do anything to make yourself look appealing to the opposite sex? <laughs> anything! <laughs> Or you feel like they just supposed to take your steak in my hand. Do you even wash your butt? Bruh. <laughs> I deserve. Girl, you don't deserve nothing but a toothbrush and a washcloth. Uh-uh. That's all you deserve. <laughs> what? Yo, there's delusion out there. For sure. 100%. But that is a, that's real settling right there. Yeah. Don't that, do that. Like, don't subject yourself to... This is going to be a hot mess. And I would love to go further in this video, but I'm not going to. Y'all can go to Abra and Preach channel. The name of the video, as she said, is Abortion Could Make Us Closer. Friends. Friends with Benefits. Y'all can go watch the whole video so y'all can see what else comes out of this train wreck that I'm watching right now. <laughs> but... Man, don't do it. Please don't do this. Not not if you not if, if you're looking like if you really want to be with somebody, don't do that. Yeah. You gotta have enough self-respect because and here's the thing, you might fool yourself and get them for a hot minute, but it will fall apart. Yeah. Because there's a certain lack of respect that happens in that in that type of they're not looking at you like you're special and you're this and you're that and all that other stuff mm -hmm. and don't look at the one or two people that you've seen in your life that actually were able to do this and think that that's the majority of people because it it's is not, not. actually the hodge <laughs> twins from um youtube oh yeah, yeah one of them was talking about it and he was like that's him <laughs> he was like hey, me and my wife man first date man we were knocking it out the box you know what i'm saying and i married her i was like oh i got to have me some of that Yo, that is a rarity. Most guys, are, if y'all can't tell that the Hodge twins are different, they not like the rest of us. <laughs> They're not. I'm not even like the rest of us. So don't take those anecdotal every, you know, that 10% and think that that's, good, that's not the majority. For most of us, this never. <sighs> yeah. You got anything else to add to that? Because I feel like. <laughs> Just don't do it. <laughs> Just say no. All right. Just say no. Just say no. <laughs> okay. Well, we can clean it up then. We done. We done. All right. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's, vi today's video. Um, be sure to drop us comments below and let us know what you think about this buffoonery. <laughs> All right. Um, but that's going to wrap it up. We will see you guys next week. Till then, deuces. Oh, wait. Hold on. We're going to bring that back. Oh, you okay. like that? What was that? What um, so when you guys see this, it may be Christmas Eve. Yes. So we wanted to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. Also, it might be New Year's. Because we don't know when this is going to go. <laughs> it could be New Year's too. Um, Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Happy Holidays. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. Pass the offering plate. Happy Kwanzaa. Pass the offering plate. Get, get, um, donations. We love it when you give the donation that jingles. <laughs> But we really want the donation that holds. <laughs> We're trying to build this church, y'all. <laughs> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Joy! I am very happy to be here. Amen. Amen. <laughs>
Okay. Shout out to Eddie Murphy and the whole <laughs> crew from Coming to America. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm done. anyway, hope you guys enjoy your holidays. Till next time, deuces. Press the off button. <laughs>